Hello and welcome to my channel, where I talk about all things related to space exploration and technology. In this video, I'm going to show you how SpaceX rocket engines have evolved over time, from the Merlin engine that powered the first Falcon 1 rocket, to the Raptor engine that will power the Starship and Super Heavy vehicles. SpaceX is a private company founded by Elon Musk in 2002 with the goal of making humanity a multiplanetary species. To achieve this goal, SpaceX has developed several reusable launch systems that can deliver payloads and people to orbit, and beyond, these launch systems are powered by different types of rocket engines, each with its own characteristics and capabilities. The first rocket engine that SpaceX developed was the Merlin engine. The Merlin engine is a gas generator cycle engine that uses liquid oxygen and RP-1, which is a refined kerosene, as propellants. It was designed to be simple, reliable, and low cost. The first version of the Merlin engine, called Merlin 1A, produced about 340 kN of thrust at sea level and had a specific impulse of 304 seconds. It was used to power the first stage of the Falcon 1 rocket, which was SpaceX's first orbital launch vehicle. The Falcon 1 rocket made its maiden flight in 2006, but it failed to reach orbit due to a fuel leak. The second flight in 2007 also failed due to a stage separation issue. The third flight in 2008 reached orbit but did not deploy its payload due to a residual thrust problem. The fourth flight in 2008 was finally successful and made SpaceX the first private company to launch a liquid-fueled rocket into orbit. The Merlin engine was upgraded several times over the years, resulting in different versions such as Merlin 1B, Merlin 1 degrees Celsius, Merlin 1D, and Merlin Vacuum. The latest version, called Merlin 1D+, produces about 845 kN of thrust at sea level and has a specific impulse of 311 seconds. It is used to power the first stage of the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, which are SpaceX's current workhorse launch vehicles. The Merlin vacuum engine produces about 934 kN of thrust in vacuum and has a specific impulse of 348 seconds. It is used to power the second stage of the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. The Falcon 9 rocket made its maiden flight in 2010 and has since become one of the most reliable and versatile launch vehicles in the world. It can deliver up to 22.8 tons of payload to low Earth orbit and up to 8.3 tons of payload to geostationary transfer orbit. It can also carry crewed missions using the Dragon capsule, which can dock with the International Space Station or transport private astronauts to orbit. The Falcon Heavy rocket made its maiden flight in 2018 and is currently the most powerful operational rocket in the world. It can deliver up to 63.8 tons of payload to low Earth orbit and up to 26.7 tons of payload to geostationary transfer orbit. One of the key features of the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets is their reusability. The first stage of these rockets can land back on Earth after launch using grid fins, cold gas thrusters, and landing legs. This reduces the cost of launching and enables rapid turnaround times. The second stage of these rockets is currently not reusable, but SpaceX is working on making it so in the future. The next rocket engine that SpaceX is developing is the Raptor engine. The Raptor engine is a full-flow stage combustion engine that uses liquid methane and liquid oxygen as propellants. It is designed to be more efficient, more powerful, more scalable, and more adaptable than the Merlin engine. The Raptor engine produces about 22 OKN of thrust at sea level and has a specific impulse of 330 seconds. It will be used to power the Starship and Super Heavy vehicles, which are SpaceX's next-generation reusable launch systems that aim to enable human colonization of Mars and beyond. The Starship vehicle is a fully reusable spacecraft that can carry up to 100 tons or 100 people to low Earth orbit or beyond. It consists of two parts, a Starship upper stage and a super heavy booster. The Starship upper stage has six Raptor engines, three sea level engines for ascent and landing, and three vacuum engines for orbital maneuvers. The super heavy booster has up to 32 Raptor engines for liftoff and landing. The Starship vehicle is currently under development at SpaceX's facilities in Boca Chica, Texas. SpaceX has built and tested several prototypes of the Starship upper stage, such as Starhopper, SN5, SN6, SN8, SN9, SN10, SN11, SN15, and SN16. These prototypes have performed various static fire tests and high-altitude flight tests, reaching up to 10 kilometers in altitude and demonstrating controlled descent and landing. SpaceX is also working on building and testing the Super Heavy booster, which will perform its first orbital flight test in the near future. The Starship vehicle will be capable of performing a variety of missions, such as launching satellites, transporting cargo and crew to the Moon and Mars, enabling point-to-point -point travel on Earth, and even exploring the outer solar system. The Starship vehicle will also be able to refuel in orbit using another Starship tanker, which will extend its range and payload capacity. And that's how SpaceX rocket engines have evolved over time, from the Merlin engine that powered the first Falcon 1 rocket, to the Raptor engine that will power the Starship and Super Heavy vehicles. It's a fascinating journey of innovation and ambition that shows how SpaceX is revolutionizing the space industry and making 
humanity a multiplanetary species. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more space-related content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.